Another proud moment for ISRO as another textbook launch was launched and this was the LVM3. The chairman is with us. Thank you so much, sir. Congratulations on the launch. And in this particular, let me start with your uh, new experiment of reignition of CV25. Why is it very significant? First of all, I want to tell the cryogenic technology was a technology which was denied to India by other space-faring nations. We have indigenously developed this capability and today I am very happy to announce that it is not only once we have ignited, after successfully accomplishing the mission, we have restarted the cryogenic thrust chamber alone. That I have to be very frank and open, only cryogenic thrust chamber. And this will be paving the way for the future, for restarting the cryogenic stage, for accomplishing, um, for placing multiple satellites in multiple orbits, and also to have mission flexibility. So it's a very, very important experiment what India has done. And the, for the first time, in a deep vacuum condition, we have successfully reignited the thrust chamber of the C-25 cryogenic stage. So 4.4 4 tons, 4, 4 tons of this particular satellite. Is this a prelude to the upcoming Gaganyaan and the heavy loads ISRO is going to launch? No, in fact, I want to tell there is this rocket capability is 4,200 kg to uh, GTO. But when the satellite, we had a satellite of 4,410 kg, we had put a lot of things in place. We have optimized the mass of the thermal protection system. We have optimized the thrust of the C-25 stage. We have optimized the mission trajectory and the required in the trajectory. And we have also brought a uh, little bit reduced orbit. So everything is put in place. Uh, because uh, Just because that satellite is 200 kg more, uh, we cannot go to other country and launch. And it is our own satellite. So it is a fantastic work done by... The team is uh, lifting a heavier satellite of 4,410 kg and placing in the required elliptical orbit. One last question. The model that you have, the HRLV Nietzsche, that is actually showing the grid, uh, these uh, stabilizers and such. On the, with the module, there is a design below. So are you going to use grid, log, grid uh, stabilizers in the upcoming HRLV design? No, it's a couple of experiments we are carrying out. And... Uh, uh, some of the places we have to use, not all the places. Thank you so much, sir. Thank that you. was the chairman. It was very clearly stated that all is well for ISRO, and right now, heavy loads are going to be the next chapter for ISRO. Daniel, Pramod Madhav, for today. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.